Hey guys, this is Brittany here at the Sports Center coming to you with a fit tip to elevate your fitness game. If you can do us all a favor, if you're on Instagram, give us a like, give us a follow. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it to all your friends. Same thing on Facebook. Give us a like, give us a follow, give us a share. All right, guys, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the sumo deadlift. So I have my bar set up here and we're gonna go over a few coaching cues for the sumo deadlift. But first I wanna start with a brief intro of why we do a sumo deadlift over a conventional deadlift. Um, the movements are very similar. Conventional deadlift is going to be a bit more posterior chain dominant or simply put back dominant. So your back and your hamstrings are gonna be a little more dominant in a conventional deadlift where in a sumo deadlift, our quads are going to be a little bit more dominant along with our adductors or the inside of our legs. So um, we're gonna set up with our feet wider than shoulder width and our toes are going to be pointed out. So two differences from the conventional deadlift. Feet are wider than shoulder width, toes are pointed out. From there, we're gonna come down to the bar. Same as with a conventional deadlift, we want that bar touching our shins and then our legs the entire time. So when I'm coming down, that bar remains on my shins. My hands are just below my shoulders and inside of my legs. So conventional deadlift, we'll have them outside. Today, we're putting them inside our legs. We're gonna grab that bar, sit back our chest and our shoulders up, pulling that bar up our legs and then popping our hips through, same as a conventional deadlift. So going back down, remember grabbing that bar, chest up, shoulders back, pulling that bar up. You wanna think more about pressing your feet through the floor, then you do a want, you want to think about pulling with your back. So what I'm doing is I'm leg pressing the floor away and that is creating the pressure to bring that deadlift up off the floor. So things to watch out for, same as a conventional deadlift. We don't want this bar way out in front of us and pulling from here. That's going to be all lower back. It's going to get you into some problems, especially as things get heavier. You also want to watch out for upper back rounding over. So if you're down here, and your upper back looks like this and your head's down, we're using a little more back than we need to. We're negating the impact of our legs in the sumo deadlift. All right, guys, that's a sumo deadlift. Good luck.